Hi friends. So in this problem, we have to prove that do square by do x square plus do square by do y square is equal to four times do square by do z do z bar. Now guys, let me tell you that this is the standard property of analytic function. Now the question is how to prove the result. So if you observe the left hand side, then here we have the second order differentiation with respect to x and then with respect to y. What we'll do is since the function is not given here with do square, we'll assume a function. So let's say the function is u. So since the function is u, we can say that u must be function of x and y because then only we can get the value of do u by do x and do u by do y. So let's say u is function of x and y. Now we have to prove that it is equal to 4 times do square by do z do z bar. So let's say this same function u is here. So we have to prove that it is equal to do square u by do z do z bar. It means u has to be function of z and z bar. Now on one side it is given that this u is function of x and y. Now on the other side we want u to be function of z and z bar. Now how to achieve it? So what we will do is we will find out the composite function through x and y. Now for that I will assume a complex number let us say z which is x plus i y. Therefore the z bar will be x minus i y that is conjugate of a complex number. Now if we will add these two equations then we will get z plus z bar here we will get 2x. So I will say therefore 2x is equal to z plus z bar or we can say that x is equal to 1 by 2 z plus z bar. So here we got x as function of z and z bar. So here I can say it is function of z and z bar. Similarly, if we will subtract these two equations, then we will get 2iy is equal to z minus z bar or y is equal to 1 upon 2y z minus z bar. So y is also function of z and z bar. So now we got u as function of z and z bar also. So here we got the composite function where u is function of x and y and x and y are function of z and z bar. Now we will apply the chain rule for this composite function. So uh, we know that this u is called as dependent variable. So here I will write it is dependent whereas this z and z bar are called as independent variables. So u is dependent on z and z bar as well as on x and y where x and y are called as intermediate variables. So what we will do is we will apply the chain rule and we will apply chain rule on the relation between dependent and independent. So let's start with the first part that is do u by do z. So if we want to apply the chain rule between do u by do z then we have to find out all the paths between u to z. So this is one path from u to x, x to z. And the other part is u to y and y to z. So we'll apply the chain rule individually and then we'll add it. So if I want to find do u by do z then. So I'll say therefore do by do z equal to. Now you must be thinking sir why are you not writing u? Because here I have assumed u in the question the function u is not given. I have assumed for some time that it is u. So since the function is not given, this can be any function. Now I have considered it or it can be some other function also. Then we will get do by do z equal to from here we will go till z. So we will get do by do x into do x by do z. So I applied the chain rule for first part. Next plus do by do y into do y by do z. So I applied the chain rule for second path. So guys I am not writing u here because it is assumed. Now to find the value of this we have to find value of do x by do z and do y by do z. So from here if we will find do x by do z then we will get 1 by 2 because it is partial differentiation of x with respect to z. It is 1 by 2. So here I will say it is 1 by 2 do by 
dou x and dou y by dou z will be 1 upon 2y. So, here I will say plus 1 upon 2y dou by dou y. So, if we will take 1 by 2 outside or I will take 1 by 2y outside, then we can get dou by dou y first and then here we will get plus i dou by dou x. So, here we got the value of dou by dou z. Now, let us find out the value of dou by dou z bar and for that here we will find dou u by dou z bar. So, first path is u to x, x to z bar, u to y, y to z bar. But guys, while writing the formula, I will not consider this function u because it is assumed. So, let us apply the chain rule from u to z bar. So, here I will say therefore, dou by dou z bar is equal to so, first path is u to x, x to z bar. This will become dou by dou x into dou x by dou z bar plus dou by dou y into dou y by dou z bar. Now, we will put the value of dou x by dou z bar. It is also 1 by 2. So, here I will write 1 by 2 dou by dou x and the value of dou y by dou z bar is minus 1 by 2y. So, it will be minus 1 by 2y dou by dou y. Now, guys, we can again take 1 upon 2y outside or we can take negative 1 upon 2y outside. So, in bracket, we will get dou by dou y as positive and here we will get minus i into dou by dou x. So, now we got the value of dou by dou z and dou by dou z bar. So, let us find out this dou square by dou z dou z bar and for that we will multiply these two terms. So, here I will say therefore, dou square by dou z dou z bar is equal to dou by dou z of dou by dou z bar. So, we have the value of dou by dou z as well as dou by dou z bar we will substitute over here. So, we will get dou by dou z is 1 upon 2y dou by dou y plus i dou by dou x and the value of dou by dou z bar is minus 1 upon 2y into dou by dou y minus i dou by dou x. So, here by multiplying this 1 upon 2i with minus 1 upon 2i, we will get minus 1 upon 4i square. Next, we will multiply the second bracket with each term of first bracket. So, dou by dou y into this bracket will be dou square by dou y square. Next, minus i dou square by dou y dou x. Next, here this into first term will be plus i dou square by dou x dou y and here plus minus minus i square dou square by dou x square. So, i square is minus 1. So, here we will get 1 by 4. Next, these two terms will be cancelled because they are same and opposite in sign. Here, Again, i square is minus 1, so minus minus plus and we will get dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou x square in bracket. Next, I can shift this 4 to the other side and it will become 4 times this. So, here I will say, therefore, dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou x square is equal to 4 will go there, 4 times dou square by dou z dou z bar and guys this was the required proof thank you